you love my new haircut? I do love it. You do? I do. Okay, all right. <laughs> so what should I do first? Like what's the first thing that I should do? So when you get out of the shower, I want you to put some sort of a serum in your ends. I definitely want to start by creating a little bit of texture already. Don't use a lot, a very little amount, and just sort of distribute it halfway through the hair and through the ends. Never touch the roots with it because we want to make sure that you have the most body possible for that. So you don't want super, super clean hair? No. I like day old or love, two day old. Love dirty hair. Yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm there. You're a dry shampoo girl. I'm dry shampoo girl. Okay. I'm baby powder girl, actually. Cornstarch is better. Fun natural fat. We're gonna start with a little bit of dry shampoo. I love the Amica Perk Up Dry Shampoo. So I'm gonna take, you know, one to two inch sections, sort of all over the crown area. Move a good five inches from the scalp because you're gonna wanna have it sort of disperse in the air almost before it hits your scalp. And we're just gonna lightly dust it, sort of one to two inch sections all around the front and the crown area of your hair. Sort of moving around. Make sure you really get in the back as well. Then I'm gonna take my Mason Pearson brush or any sort of boar bristle and nylon mixed brush and sort of comb a little bit of the dry shampoo. I mm -hmm. feel like when you think about curling irons, mm -hmm. you think about, oh, I'm gonna give my hair a heavy curl. Absolutely. And I don't wanna go there. Yes. I want that beach wave, kind of like what you have, okay. very effortless. This is the summer look. <laughs> this is the summer this look. This is, this is the summer look. It's the perfect time to create that wave. So I like to start sort of in the bottom here. Mm -hmm. I split it in half, and then I'm gonna go through. And because we want this style to have a little bit more of looser tousled waves, take a good one inch section, one to two inch section, and then we're gonna go in the middle. So right here is where I'm gonna start. We're always gonna start in the middle of the hair. So we go down and pull away from the face and always stretch it. I feel like when I do the curls, there's never a straight curl. I don't hold it on for too long. I just sort of start in the middle, stretch and pull. Now, because we want it to be uniformed in the front with it, everything moving away from the face and going backwards, on the other side, we're also going to start going back away from the face. So we don't want to go in the same direction all the way around the head. We're only going in the same direction until the middle, and then we restart on the other side. Okay, so now that we've, we're done with the entire bottom section, I'm going to go ahead and let the top part down. So now we're going to go back to the front area. And this, I sort of like to see how it sits on the face. Her bang is cut so that it sort of cascades backwards like this anyhow. So I'm gonna use that shape, and I'm gonna use the flat iron to move with the shape of the bang flow. Not necessarily in the middle, but a little bit closer to the end. Same thing, twist and pull down. While it's hot, separate it. And we're just gonna create this exact same look, moving all the way around the head. So if you turn to the side, you guys can start to see how we're creating these tousled, textured waves. Very movable. It really works with this short summer cut um, because it's a little it's a little edgier as well. We're not going in with super kinky curls. We're making it more edgy and fun and full of life. So now I flip my iron so that I'm moving away from the face on the other side and shape with your fingers. I do a lot of sort of pulling and twisting because the natural oils on my hands will help to smooth that out as it is. So now that we've gone around the entire head with our flat iron creating this tousled textured wave, um, again, remember, we're moving away from the face on both sides. Move front to middle, and then again front to middle. Um, so now that we've gone through that entire step, done her entire head, then we'll grab, we could either use a super pliable hairspray that's very lightweight, or we can use a dry texturizing spray, which is what I'm going to use today. Um, just sort of putting it all throughout the hair, um, and I'm just gonna go around the entire head doing the same thing, and just making sure that you put enough so that you get that textured, movable look. So it's all really about playing with your own hair and kind of moving it and making it go Feeling it. in a way. Um, you know, it's not gonna be like the same thing every time. Absolutely. So it's always about pulling on it and finding that right way. And I love the part about oils in your fingers. I love that because yeah. I think that's so great because I really feel like if I do this, enough, it's gonna stay in that position. And it's not gonna, if you're not damaging your hair then day two, day three, right. because you're using your essential oils that our body makes anyhow. I love it. This is perfect, Emily. Thank awesome. you so much. Yeah. <laughs>